let's head in, take a look at the progress on the new building. It's gonna be all open, it's kind of gonna be the, the office area. So as we're going through the, uh, the trainings, we'll be able to look out and see what's going on on the shop area. And they've got drop cloth on the floor here, that's what all this brown paper is. They got the framework for the doors in here. They finished this whole north wall here. They are also working on installing the ductwork for the air conditioning. And that's a lot of the theme with this shop is trying to learn what we need. And it looks like they've got the lights installed. Okay, ready. At the new shop. Checking it out as a complete state for the first time. It looks like they've cleaned up the floor, moved all the equipment out, they've got the drop power in, lights are in, of course. Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Riley. My brothers Keegan, River, and I have been developing a new two seat kit aircraft called the Dark Arrow One. It's specifically engineered for speed, range, and efficiency. We're in the process of completing the prototype aircraft and getting it into flight testing. In parallel, we've been setting up the production facility where we're going to build Dark Arrow 1 kits. That's where we are today. I'm standing in front of the shop. We're going to give you a tour. Let's head on inside and check it out. As you come in here, the first area that you'll enter is basically the office. We will have a proper kind of entry area here, maybe a little couch and coffee table. A lounge area if you want to sit and hang out when you first come in. On the wall here I want to put like a, a Dark Arrow logo or some maybe like a graphic of the, the rendering of the aircraft just so when you first come in you see it you're at the right place Dark Arrow. I think it'll look pretty cool. This area is going to be desks, computers, the, kind of the, the engineering design uh, office area. It's all empty right now but we're going to be moving in equipment. I want to put a big dry erase board up here so any kind of brainstorming or, or planning we want to do we can write it up here just cover the whole wall with a marker board we'll get to this in a second there's a window looking out into the shop when we planned out this area we wanted to have windows into the shop for a couple reasons one just to let in ambient light into that area and then also so we can see what's going on it's really important with uh, composites manufacturing like the aircraft we're building is all carbon fiber composite. Your engineering and manufacturing should be in the same building. Those two processes are, are highly coupled, your engineering and manufacturing. So we wanted uh, that to all be right next to each other so we can oversee the process. We'll get to the shop in a second. I'll show you this quickly. This is the kitchen area or kitchenette. Pretty simple, just a, a sink, some cabinets. We'll have a refrigerator here. The fridge is on order. It should be delivered, uh, I think next week. Uh, so for snacks and drinks as we're keeping ourselves energized. We'll head into the shop. I'm sure everyone's interested in that. We have about 6,000 square feet here. So we have about, well, total in the space, we've got about 1,000 in the office, 5,000 in the shop. And this is gonna be where we're gonna be building Dark Arrow One kits. So we'll have all our molds in here, CNC equipment, the oven to make the kit. Uh, if you've been following along and, and paying attention to what we're doing, and you know anything about manufacturing or production, you might think the number 6,000 square feet for building aircraft, that's not enough. And you're right, it isn't enough. We refer to this as our pilot production space. So we're trying to answer that question of how much space do we need? It's kind of hard to establish that. We have ballpark numbers. The nice thing about this area is that we have some flexibility and the, the landlord's willing to work with us as we grow and expand. This is all open if you go through this wall, you can expand into that direction. We're starting with 6,000 so that we don't overshoot and I think we'll probably be expanding in there shortly. A couple things I'll point out about the space. If you peek up at the ceiling, we have uh, both heating and cooling in here. So it's climate controlled year round. That's important for our process. You want uh, temperature control, especially for composites and also humidity control. That's a pretty big upgrade from our old space. We just had heat, but no cooling in, in the hangar that we had before. We are maintaining the hangar that we've been working out of just so we have airport access. So the, the prototype aircraft will be stored there all the manufacturing will be here. We also made kind of a big deal about the lights when we were first working with the landlord to build out the space. It was all empty and we had it built out to our spec with the office and the shop and the power, everything. We wanted a lot of light. Uh, we want this to be like an operating room. It, it should be um, well lit so you can see your work and see what you're doing. You can more easily uh, visually detect defects or anything like that. Lighting was important. It's all LED lights, so pretty efficient, really well lit. I like that. And then also the, the windows, just letting ambient light in uh, as well. That, 
that keeps it bright. It's also kind of a, an aesthetic or a mental vibe thing. I, I like having windows, which we didn't have before in the hangar, so I think that's gonna make it really pleasant to work here. I'm pretty excited about that. Drop power all throughout the shop so that if you need to run equipment or a vacuum pump, whatever, we got options all throughout the space. It's gonna be molds, uh, ovens, you know, lots of equipment in here. We'll head to the back, I'll show you a couple of things. The unique aspect of this space is we have both a bay door and a dock door. So if you needed to back a semi-trailer up here, if you open that door, it's about a four foot drop, so you could drive straight into the back of a semi-trailer. This one's at ground level, so there's a ramp coming up in here. You could drive a vehicle straight into the shop if you wanted. So that gives us flexibility and options, whether we're receiving equipment or supplies, we can unload a semi or just a smaller vehicle. And then also for shipping uh, kits, we've got options there. This big piece of sheet metal here is actually gonna be a sign. We're gonna have a big dark arrow logo on here. We haven't sent this to the, the graphics people yet, but this will be on the front of the building. So if you're driving by trying to find the dark arrow building, you'll know where it is, the big dark arrow sign in front. Uh, let's see here. I already pointed out that they kind of partitioned this off with drywall, so they built stud walls. Put up, put up the drywall, it's nice and bright now. I'm a little bit scared to touch anything. I think we're gonna get the walls dirty. I already scuffed uh, <laughs> one area when we were moving equipment in and uh, I was almost in tears. We'll go in the back here. This is just a little closet. Uh, they have what's called a slop sink in here. We already threw some stuff in here. Trying to keep it from getting too messy. So if you are got your greasy hands doing some, some work, you can come in here, wash off in the dirty sink, and then the, the clean sink is in the bathroom here. Nothing too crazy, it's just a bathroom. So I'll show you this area here as well. This kind of is a nice transition. A lot of people ask us, how's Dark Arrow funded? How are you guys doing this? The important thing to remember is that we don't just build kit airplanes, we do a lot of other work as well. We teach courses, we do contract manufacturing, consulting work, and this area is gonna allow us to expand on this. So this is our classroom or conference room. This is where we're gonna be teaching courses. Uh, so aerospace composites course, mold making course, we're probably gonna expand on our option of courses. We have a little bit more seating here, room for 12 people. So still a relatively small class size for good student to teacher ratio. We also will be doing some more work with our manufacturing. There's three main families of components in the Dark Arrow One kit. We have panel components, which are made out of 2D sandwich panel structure like this, honeycomb sandwich panel with a carbon fiber skin. We have molded components like this spinner bulkhead that'll be made here with our molds. And then we have CNC machine components like these landing gear components. All this is gonna be built here, but what's kind of unique is that we're going to be making um, more of this sandwich panel material commercially available. So this is just pretty generic. It's just a big flat panel that we cut all of our components out of. Uh, we're gonna sell that if you want to make uh, your own components to the same standard as our aircraft. We're gonna be selling that material. It's basically the same as what we're putting in our airplane. So if you're interested in that, that'll be coming online shortly. The whole idea here is we're learning more about production, expanding on what we already do, uh, and, and growing. We're, we're serious about this whole Dark Arrow thing. So we're gonna be showing all that and highlighting that on our channel as we build out this space and learn more about production, share that journey with you guys. I'm pretty excited to share that. I think it's gonna be fun to follow along, so stay tuned.